You're watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to the third hour of Good Day Columbus. I'm Sean Ireland with my compadre who's already gone to the bottle this morning. Meteorologist Marshall McPeak. What are you doing? That is some homemade ginger beer right there is what that is. That's the most intimidating bottle I've ever seen. <laughs> that is some homemade ginger beer. And today we're going to teach you how to make it and show you how some homebrew works. Lovely. It's a great little hobby. So if you've never tried it, we'll give you a shot. You can try some of that later. Coming up on Good Day. Backstage. <laughs> Ready for your close up? Backstage. <laughs> Mike will remain backstage. You mean to go first? Um, okay. 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 I think we need you to walk forward. <laughs> yeah. I think we didn't bring any real equipment up. Watch out for the. Yeah. Your end, stop it, maybe you're up here, Justin. Okay, and back. This way? Yeah, back towards me. There you go. Very intimidating. Set up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian's in white. Yes. You have a mic. Oh, you have one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he brought a mic. He brought a mic. <laughs> Where are you, Ace? Actually, no. It's a. Um, no, actually, it's just. It's a fermented. I don't even know how to describe it. Coming up on Good Day Columbus, this will make you quieter. Having some um, home brew in your belly. There you go. Everything you need to make your own brew at home is coming up after the break. <laughs> he has a reputation with the viewers. What is this? Just this is a fermentation bucket, which is much like the same thing. Um, so. uh, we're starting with my right. The ingredients. Why don't we start with the ingredients and how uh, you're prepping? No, I'm a mash. With basic brewery, you're just going to use like a dress procedure syrup. Yes, we'll start, we'll start here, we'll go there, then we'll do the snap part. And then we can take as much as this. Is there something in here? No, it's just us. That's good. That was a good one. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> I know, it happens. Just warn you if you have any about the eater. This is a wine drinker, right? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. Woo! Good. I think I'm trying that one. Seeing double feeling. Wow. Watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. You know, not every week needs a celebration, but this one, I oh, say thumbs good. up. It's American Craft Beer Week. You can celebrate, of course, anytime. You can make your own beer at home, which has become really quite a thing. You know, it's becoming more and more popular to do that. Brian Huntley is with us this morning with everything you need to get started on a brand new hobby that you can enjoy for years or even by the night. By the night. So, good morning. Good morning. How long have you been doing this, first of all? I've been doing it since uh, about seven or eight years now. You were kind like of that. leading the pack then. 
Yeah, maybe. I don't because, know. There's... I mean, it's not that this hasn't been going on for hundreds of years. Yeah. But right. The homebrew thing is really popular now. It really ha It really has taken off um, in the U.S. I mean, all across the country. I mean, I know 10, 12 years ago, it was so hard to find ingredients, so hard to find any information about it. I mean, it was almost like a little cult club, but mm -hmm. now it's so open, so... You know, everyone is willing to help you. I mean, there's there's clubs. You know, locally we've got Sods, right? Which is a, a club locally, and and I mean, all the members there are great. You know, mm. so if you need things. advice, there are people to go to to help Absolutely. you get started. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about what's on the table here because if we want to get started in the hobby, there are a few things you've got to have. Exactly. Um, you need a a, a a kettle. Right. Something you don't have to have a huge kettle. Um, you can boil as little as like three or four gallons of water okay. and then just come to your volume later in now, your fermentation vessel. In, in basic terms, what are we doing here? We're putting some water and some what, hot? Some in water here? and we're going to put in some malt extract. Generally for a beginner, you're going to go with a malt extract so you don't have to have a ton of equipment. And what is that? Um, it, what it is basically, they take a, a, a grain that's been malted and mashed, which is basically converting the starches to sugars. Mm -hmm. And then they do a spray drying process where it actually is sprayed in a column and it's dried into a powder. Hmm. Or they turn it into a syrup by and boiling it down. that goes in here? That goes in here with your water. Okay. Then you're going to put your hops in, which okay. your hops actually do two different things. They actually... What do hops actually look like? Uh, we can open all these You up, don't have sure. to open them. No, I'll open Do up. they look like a grain type? Well, there's two different types. There's a, there's a pellet hop, and then this is what more what it looks like from, uh, from oh. the vine itself. Huh. And uh, then there's also, yeah, the smell actual, them too. They smell the really great. Wine. Wow. And then there also is the uh, huh. pellet type. If I can get the package open. So here. once those have been in here, you're going to heat them up. You're going to bring it to a boil, cool it down again. And this is the pellet. That's version. the pellet the type. Pellets. That's like little rabbit food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of smells that way too, yeah. actually. Huh, Absolutely. Once you cool it down, then we move to a whole new container. What is huh. this? This is your fermentation vessel. This is where uh, you put the yeast in there. And, and you know, brewers, we don't make beer. Yeast makes beer. Yeast, yeast makes beer. So, you know, it's one of those things where you're going to sprinkle your yeast over it. It's going to it's going to turn the sugars in the wort, which is your unfermented beer, into alcohol. So, just like when when the yeast gets into your bread and it converts some of that sugar and makes it rise, it's doing the same thing in here. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So once you put that in there, it sits in there for how long? Um, depending on the variety and the temperatures and that sort of thing, probably about seven to ten days is a good good gauge of how long it's going to be in there. This is an airlock, so it lets the CO2, which is a byproduct of fermentation, escape. Okay. And it also keeps bacteria, bugs, everything else so from getting in there. Bubbles away for a while. Exactly. You okay. know how that goes. All right. So once it does that, then seven to ten days later... You're ready? You could, yeah. You're ready to transfer it over into a bottling bucket or a bucket where you can use a racking cane, much like okay. what you have over Let's there. Like, kind of like this. Yep. And then you can actually take this device, which is a, a, a right bottling there. wand, oh. and you're actually going to gonna put the bottling wand into here and fill up the bottle until it gets to the top. You pull it out, and then it's got just the right amount of headspace in the top. Make it stop where you want. Exactly. All right, so now you brought a gadget that actually is how you put the cap on one of these things. Correct. So this is a, a bottling cap, and this is something that would come in a, in a beginner's kit. Okay. Um, they make, you know, standing ones mm -hmm. and other type, but um, this is a, a, a capper, and you basically you're going to put it down on there. You're going to push down on it. And that's it. That's and voila. It. And you've got what looks for all the world wow. like a professional bottle of beer. Absolutely. Yeah. Very on recipe. Now, this one you've made, right? Correct. Let's that open is, that uh, baby up. Where's, uh, we don't have anything to open. I just so happen to have one. Wait, do you? Of course you do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, did you that? see that? That's my uh, wedding ring. Your wedding ring? <laughs> nice. Now that's a professional right there. I bet there. your wife is really happy yeah, about that. She is absolutely is happy. A professional right there. <laughs> oh, Zoe, golly. Try that. So, what's the alcohol content in this? This thing? is about between 8 and 9%. Mm, it I actually made good. it um, the day after Christmas. Like every year, I, I usually take off the time around Christmas and I made it the day after mm. Christmas. And it's, it's one that's a little bit harder to make because of the fact that when that's alcohol. The maple in there. Well, no, no, that's no, not the maple is, ale. That's delicious. the smell. And I'm not a big fan of anything that you can't see. You're just through. tasting the malts. <laughs> I drink and really some of the weak hops beer, in there. but that's this incredible. Is, this is really delicious. And you made that at home. I did make it at home. Brilliant. Um, we had some ginger beer, too. We'll tell you about that some other time. Awesome. Fantastic. Brian, thanks I'm very much. I'm impressed. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. Thank you. I'll be it's putting in an order after the show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll expect Don't a 12 pack in about, about a month. That's right. Thanks so much. Here's a question Are your Mother's Day flowers dead already? Uh, probably. Coming up, some quick tips to make those last longer, as also some other simple tricks that you can help stretch your dollar. Heloise is going to be here in just a little oh, bit. Yeah. <laughs> It's been sitting in the primary, or I'm sorry, secondary, for about probably four or five months now. 
Oh. So it's actually mellowed out a lot. Yeah, it has a little bit of heat to it. There it goes. Oh, hang on. I told you it was going to gush. <laughs> you got the fizz you're looking for. Yes, it does.